Dahl from Minnesota, Minota Heights, Minnesota. Over to Terrell, tries to put a shot towards goal, blocked by UMBC, here they come. Gray the other way, leads the charge. Gray finding Lunas, that one wide of the mark, a lefty sidewind. Backed up by UMBC, the Trevers with three and a half seconds to go, clock back in. Got to get rid of it quickly here towards the goal and they score with point six remaining on the clock. Point six remaining, giving the Retrievers a 4-2 lead. Let's check the number for you. And here's a save by Souter. Maxwell, Lunas scores! That's quick two for Lunas. Maxwell with his third assist today. It's 6-3 UMBC, and the time of this goal is 11-32. This is their first possession in quite a while. The Drivers have scored a couple of consecutive goals and won a couple of consecutive face-offs, and now they take it away. Here's Ian Gray on the cause turnover. Gray. Pass midfield into the restraining area. Trivers with a chance. Oh, another save. Great save by Over. Now a steal. Here's Maxwell going in on goal, and he scores. Max Maxwell raising his stick high to intercept the feed. And Very patient. Here's McDonough on the defense for UMBC. Ball is loose. Hacked away from Coswin. Picked up by McDonough. Well done. The senior on senior day. Trevers now with a chance. Here's Esser. And right around the net, Lunas puts it into the back of the net. That's another hat trick for Nate Lunas. 8-3 UMBC. Lunas now with three of the last four goals for the Retrievers. Time of this one is 4.36 of the third. Foul called on UMass Lowell. Pass from Esser up ahead intended for Witzler, a little too far, but the Retrievers maintain possession. Witzler now in the midfield for UMBC. Quickly up ahead and they score! with 12 seconds left to go in the period. See if they can get a shot off towards the goal. Satter makes the save, hugging the near post. Satter delivers way upfield, two seconds, one second, and that's the end of the third period. The Retrievers outscoring UMass Lowell four to two in the third and taken, no, wait a minute. Did they score at the end of the third? They did. What was the situation there? Goal? Souter? How? Souter gets the goal with no time left in the third quarter to give the Retrievers a 12-5 lead. We'll take a timeout and try to explain that. So it was a Rustin Souter goal at the end of the third quarter. Apparently the new rule is that if the shot goes, if the shot is delivered before the horn, it doesn't matter if it, it goes in after the horn. And that's exactly what happened. Souter's shot from all the way in front of his goal was delivered before the horn. And then even after the horn sounded, the ball trickled into the back of the net, giving the Retrievers their 12th goal of the afternoon, giving Souter his first of the career. Picked up by Witzler. Scoops it towards the keeper. And Maxwell makes the play and backs it up. Well done by James Maxwell. Well, couldn't be happier for uh, all of our seniors. I think they've done a terrific job uh, during their career, including this year. Um, we had a little dinner over at my home on Thursday night. And I told the guys, look, I know uh, you're disappointed that we're, we're not you know, going to the tournament. But if you look at the overall work, you know, we played in two America East championships. Uh, we lost to a very good Albany team in, in doing so. And, and uh, you know, we're proud of them. And, and we're appreciative of their, their, their commitment uh, over their uh, tenure here at UMBC. 
Yeah, I mean, mostly before the game, I mean, it was exciting. It was more excitement. I know, I know it's our last game, but it wasn't really until I think when the fight song was playing at the end, I kind of just realized that's it. That's the last game. Uh, but I mean, ending it like that, being able to finish strong, like Coach said, we had a perfect day. I mean, I couldn't ask for much more for this team and, and for the seniors. We, uh, we really got one today, so it felt good. Seth? Yeah, it's, it's actually really hard to walk out that field for the last time. Your game kind of stopped and uh, stood there for a second before I took my step. But, you know, we finished strong here at UMC Field, so it feels good. Nathan, how about yourself? Yeah, it's always rough, uh, you know, ending a career, especially, uh, you know, with all the guys on the team and everything. And, uh, you know, I just, it's unfortunate. It's kind of bittersweet because you get to do it all with all your friends, but, you know, you always want to fight to be back here next year. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard. So we, we kind of know, you just got to, like, you got to try something. You can't just end the quarter. And, and we yelled to Rusty to shoot, shoot, shoot. And the attack did a great job. They got right in front. And I didn't even realize that it went in, but they were saying we didn't touch it, we didn't touch it. So the like coach said the rule is if we don't touch it, and it happened to go in that, so it's pretty exciting. It can go off a defensive player and still count. Which I think is what happened. Yeah. You know, a little bit, and, and 